You want to take some boot in a 1031, you can do it. The time to take boot in a 1031 is either at the closing of the relinquished property, where you can take some non-1031 proceeds. We would augment our 1031 documents and closing instructions to specify the closing agent is to give you a certain amount of cash or boot, as we call it. Or you can wait until the end of the exchange is done after you've acquired all of your properties. If there's unused funds left in the qualified intermediary's hands at the end of the exchange, we can release those unused funds to you. But again, that will be boot. Boot is non-like kind property, such as cash that you receive, that will trigger the recognition of gain on the value of that property or cash that you receive. It will create some inefficiency. But again, 1031 exchanges are not a zero-sum game. You can do a partial 1031.